Okay, guys, so uh, somebody came on the website last night and asked about a verse. And so this is going to have to deal with easy believism again. And this is Matthew 11.30. Matthew 11.30 says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So easy believism, false teachers will try to say that, you know, like this person, they ask me, well, what does it mean that Jesus' yoke is easy? So they see that word easy and they just think that somehow that this applies to easy believism. And a person doesn't have to turn from their sin to be saved. They don't have to repent. All they have to do is believe the facts, okay, and intellectual knowledge. Just a change of mind, that's all. Um, you know, so I want to go back to understand this verse. I want to go back a couple verses um, to try to get the, the surrounding context here. So in Matthew eleven twenty eight, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It says, Come unto me. Now, whoa, somebody who believes easy believers, and that should take them off guard because I thought it was just believe the facts. I thought all you had to do was have an intellectual knowledge that Jesus was God and he was crucified and he died for your sins. Sure, if you ask that on a piece of paper and check yes or no, is this true? And the person, yeah, I intellectually, you know, believe that. Check, yeah. But, um, but you know, they, they say there doesn't have to be a change of the heart. There doesn't have to be a turning of the heart. But this says, come unto me, okay? It doesn't just say, believe on me, does it? It says, come unto me. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And verse 29 says, take my yoke upon you. Whoa, that's even more hardcore. Take my yoke upon you? What's that implying here? That's implying submission. Submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. Take his yoke upon you. You know, I was thinking like when you go for a job and you fill out an application, what do you do? You give it to them, you submit your application to them. And if you have an interview and they say, well, if you're going to work here, then it's going to require a urine sample. Are you okay with that? You say, no, I don't want to take a urine sample. And they'll say, well, then you're not going to get the job. What do you have to do? You have to submit to their standards if you want the job. You must submit to them. They say, if you're going to work here, you're going to have to wear a uniform. What do you think about that? You're going to have to say, well, that's fine with me. You're going to have to submit to their standards. The same thing is with salvation. No one is going to be saved without submitting to the Lord Jesus Christ. You must take his yoke upon you. His yoke is there. It's waiting for you. And his yoke is easy. But you must submit to him to be under his yoke. Okay? Uh, so take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So yes, once you're saved and, and you're following the Lord Jesus, then it is easy. It's not about meat and drink. Uh, it's not about, you know, following a long set of rules or anything like that. It's about love. It's about serving God out of love because he died for you. He saved you. Okay? So there is peace there. You're not constantly striving to, to follow a set, set of rules to merit, uh, you know, justification on the side of the Lord, which is impossible. Uh, so, yes... Jesus' yoke is easy, but you must submit to him to get under his yoke. So this whole passage here proves lordship salvation. There must be a turning from sin. There must be a change of heart. Come unto me. There must be a submission. Take my yoke upon you. Why can't people who teach easy believism see this? It's because they don't want to. It's a carnal teaching. You know, in one way... Uh, teaching to be saved by works is carnal because people want to merit things. They think that they, they can do good and everything in the sight of the Lord, and, and that can save them. That's carnal. But it's also carnal to think that you don't have to turn from your sin. You can just live in your sin and, and have Jesus too. You can have two masters. You can be a servant of unrighteousness and a servant of the Lord at the same time. That's impossible. Jesus said no. The New Testament, the Bible totally refutes that. Come unto me. Turn your hearts to me. Render your hearts to me. Not just in word, 
but indeed render your heart to me. Take my yoke upon you. Submit to me. That's what Jesus is saying. And if you submit to me as your Lord, as Lord, then my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, this doesn't, this doesn't teach easy believism whatsoever. This defends Lordship salvation. So, I hope that you guys see that and uh, will understand that. Study it yourself and teach it. Uh, so, but, you know, easy believism, a lot of people might think that it's not really a big deal, too, that I have, you know, a bunch of people marked for easy believism. I could certainly mark many, many more. It's a huge thing within the KJV of believers, you know. And, but there's so much to easy believism. They take the whole Bible and they turn it upside down, okay? Uh, it's, it's crazy. Like, I was working on making a list and I need to do it again. But, you know, they take the verses that say, you know, drunkards, whoremongers, idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. And they say that, well, you, you'll be saved if you're a drunkard or a whoremonger or, or idolater, but you won't uh, reign with Christ in the millennial kingdom. And that's just a whole bunch of error. And, you know, I'm still working. i got to work on that teaching soon to get that done to refute that whole losing the millennial reign thing. But, you know, they redefine repentance. They redefine turning from sin. They redefine belief and faith, what that really means in the Bible. You know, they take verses like this, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and they'll twist it around and they can say something else. So they destroy the whole Bible. I mean, it is a huge, huge deal. Okay, these people are heretics. Plain and simple. So yes, Jesus' yoke is easy. Okay, but that doesn't mean that getting under his yoke is easy. Especially for those who are rich. We know that they will hardly enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so salvation is not easy. But, you know, the yoke of the Lord is easier than than trying to merit justification in the sight of God, which is impossible. You know, that's basically what he's saying. So, so let's see here. I have a reference in my Bible, too, on this. I'll check it out. We also see in 1 John 5, verse 3, it says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So, you know, basically, Jesus is saying, you know, he said this is the first commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, you know, and, and, love, and love your neighbors, right? So it's not about keeping the ceremonial laws and all this stuff. It's just really simplified. Just love God and love your neighbors. Okay? That's what he means by my yoke is easy and my burden is light. His commandments are not grievous. 1 John 5, 3. So, you still must submit to be under his yoke. You must have a change of heart. You must turn from your sin. And uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.